Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer and welcome back to another video on Skyrim skill analysis. Today I'm going to be analyzing the enchanting skill and what I think about it and guys, this skill sucks. It's very uncreative. I do not like the enchanting skill. Like 75% of the perks are just, eh, this is better, this is better, this is better. Like yeah, dual enchanting is really good as a mastery perk, I love that. And I like that, you know, there's like the victim recharge, but, like, come on, Bethesda. Enchantments are better, enchantments are better. Fire enchantments are better, frost enchantments, skill enchantments, this enchantment. I don't like it. I think that if I could change the entire perk system of enchanting, I would. I would make it so that, um, first of all, you have to... Um, you know, you start with a couple basic kind of enchantments, and I would have it to where if you disenchanted something, it would be a very low effect. So I like the soul, I like the soul gem system where you have to put in like an expert soul gem to get a better effect. But I think that you would have to like, let's say you disenchant light armor. Your light armor at like level whatever, let's just say 10 enchanting with zero buffs, buffs, any light armor enchant you put on, would it be valued at one or maybe two if you had a grand soul? That's what I would do. And I would make it so every unlock in the enchanting tree, I would make a whole bunch of like, I would make some branches and all of them lead to dual casting or the dual enchanting where it's like, all right, you can now unlock uh, destruction variants. So fire, frost and shock. Right, you can, those are, you know, you unlock them. I think starting at skill buffs is a good start, or stat, sorry, stat buffs to health, magic, and stamina is a good starting point. Then you unlock stuff like skill buffs and destruction buffs and just resistance to magic, you know. Uh, maybe, and then, you know, the other perks trees would be like, all right, the skills are like 2% better, you know, 5% better. Combat skills, 2% better. I would do it, you know, I would do it that way because I think enchanting in this game is very much just, all right, disenchant everything, enchant all your random stuff you found in the wilderness and sell it. That's really what it comes down to with enchanting in this game. I think it's more of a grind skill than anything. I think smithing is kind of the same way too, but less so. I think enchanting is definitely just grind up till you get 100 enchanting and then enchant something that is actually good. So I really don't like the enchanting skill in this game. I, I wish I wish there was a progression other than, oh, you have a new character, you have less enchantments because you found less enchantments. And I, I wish there was I wish there was an enchanting skill where it allowed you to disenchant Diedrich items. Like that's a level 100 enchanter. Maybe you even have to legendary the skill first and get to 100. I don't know. But I think that a skill that allows you to disenchant Diedrich items would be awesome because then you can make super broken characters but you know I mean it's Skyrim people are gonna do that anyways right so I really just I think enchanting could use a bit of work it's not a very good skill right now and I wish that it you know it's more like unlocking different things you can disenchant you know things that are harder than others, you know, and just go with it that way. But that's really it about enchanting, guys. Don't have much more to say. Uh, what do you think about enchanting in Skyrim? I know I said my thoughts, I just unloaded my thoughts. What do you think about the way that they do it, especially with the disenchant system? Do you think that if you disenchant an item, it should be destroyed? I'm, I'm curious to find out. But that's it, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games. And I'll see you in the next episode of Stream Vlog or Steam It Post. Oh, whatever I decide to make.